this thing. So we cannot say that <clears throat> 23, 23 base 5 plus 101 base 3 is equal to 13 plus 10, which is equal to 23 base 10. Our, our, this is our sum. The answer for the summation that we've done in this term is now what we are going to convert to base 2. 23 divided by 2. We have to leave our answer in base 2. 23 divided by 2 is 11. 2 times 11 is 22. 23 minus 22 will give us remainder 1. That is 23 minus 22 is 1, which means that 23 divided by 2 is 11 remainder 1. Then 11 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 11 minus 10 is 1. Again, 5 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 again. 2 divided by 2 is a uh, 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, then we will now say, which is 1 divided by 2 is not possible, just take that here, we will now take these answers upward to get our final answer. Therefore, y is equal to 23 is 5 plus 1, 0, 1, base 3, which is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1. We are taking our answers upward, base 2. Therefore, we can just say that our y is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, base 2, which is our final answer. Question number 10. Calculate the value of 243 base 5 plus 132 base 5 minus 201 base 5 and leave your answer in base 5. While solving this type of question, we have to involve board maths because um, there are two operations being involved that's addition and then subtraction, which means addition will come first as a step one and then. Subtraction will follow. This has been something we've been doing since our primary school, having two operations being involved in a single question. So we'll have something like step one. Step one is our addition. That will be 243 means 5 plus. 132 is 5. It's the answer that we get from this that we use for step 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Remainder 0 is 1. Five plus three, uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Remainder 0. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 8 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 3. That is 5 times 1 is 5, 8 minus 5 is 3. Now we have 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, which is not up to 5. Now in step 2, Step 2. We now do subtraction, which is we now subtract 201 is 5 from 430 is 5. This we can subtract 1 from 0. What we just do is we borrow 1 from here, which is 5. You know, 
The one we are borrowing from here is a multiple of five. We are dealing in this five. So we'll now bring it here. That will be five. Uh, five minus one is four. Remember, here we are having two. Two minus zero is uh, two. And then four minus two is two. Don't be surprised. When you are doing things like this, this is not be stain that you just carry one. This is five. When you borrow one from here, it will be in this ten. Whenever we borrow one from here, I think it comes here to come ten. But this is five. Whenever you borrow one from here, it is a multiple of five. So five times one is five. So is that five? It will be here. Five minus one is just four. So there is no magic about it. Is the base that we are dealing with. So. This gives us our final answer that is 2, 2, 4 is our final answer. Example number 11. In what number base is the addition being done? Um, they said 465 plus 24 plus 225 is equal to 1050. Now, the question being posed to us is that in what base did they do this addition? It's a mystery that we are going to unravel now. It's very simple. The only thing is just that. Our answer, when we are adding anything up, we must get something corresponding. After making our division, our remainder must correspond with what is being given in this question. We are having 465. 465. We are having 24. And then we are having 2, 2, 5. And it told us that the answer is one zero five zero. Now let's try and do this. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus five gives us fourteen. Now uh, and for us to have to divide 14, that is the factors of 14, the factor of 14 is 14 itself, and then 14 divided by 2 gives us 7, and then 7 again gives us 1. And that's which means we are having 14, the factors of 14 is um, 1, 2, 7, and 14. That is, we have 14 times 1, 2 times 7. Now, if we should set out is 14, now we we'll get 0. But we don't know what we are going to carry to this place. Let's just give it a trial. Let's give 2 a trial. If it is 2, that will be 14 uh, divided by 2 is 7 remainder 0. That means we are going to bring our 7 here. Huh? 7 plus 6 will be 13 plus 2 is 15 plus 2 is uh, 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 2, 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8 remainder 1 which means I mean, what we are having here is 5 not 1 that means we can't make use of 2 2 is wrong let's try 7 let's try 7 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 5 is 14 14 
divided by 7 is 2. Cosine divided by 7 is 2, remainder 0. That means we bring our 2 here. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 12 divided by 7 gives us 12 divided by 7 is 1. Remainder, um, remainder 5, that is, when we say 7 times 1 is 7, 12 minus 7 is 5. That means we are still on course. We are still on the right path. That would be, remember 12 divided by 7 is 1, remainder 5. 1 plus 4 is uh, 5 plus 2, plus 2 is uh, 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, remainder 0. 7 divided by 7 is 1, remainder 0. And that one is what we are having here. So we can both say that this summation is done in base 7, which means that the base is in which in which the addition or summation is done is seven. 